So the Mai Tai we give to Trader Vic. Now we're gonna do the zombie. Now the zombie is Don the Beachcomber, all right? And this is a fucking doozy. This is a mother I mean, look at all this for one fucking drink. One. You will need a blender, right? Rather important. Uh, please be careful. Uh, I got this one, which is called the Ninja. Stupidly sharp, yes, yes, I cut myself. Right, so here we go. We're gonna put this drink together. And this one also, when it comes to the garnish, go all out, literally. If you can put the fucking kitchen sink into the drink, do it. Right, so here we go. Let's get on with this one. So, ounce and a half of a nice little golden rum. I'm gonna use Havana 7 for this. Ounce and a half, Jamaican rum. And then after that, we've got to do one ounce of either a 151 or at least an overproof. And in this case, I haven't got a 151. I have this, which is the Plantation OFTD. Now this recipe I'm basing off um, Beach Bum Berry, and you get this from his book in uh, Potions of the Caribbean. And he has done an amazing job in painstakingly finding out what the original recipe of this drink is because Don the Beach Coma was fiercely protective, okay? So, you got three rums so far, all right? And then we're gonna be adding three quarters of Falernum. Now you can either buy store-bought or you can make it yourself. There are recipes out there for you, okay? And about six dashes of Perno. And Don the Beachcomber was a little bit of a bastard because he never even told his staff. He used to label the bottles like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And the recipe was just add half an ounce of bottle number one, uh, one and a half ounces of bottle number seven or whatever. So it's very hard to find out because he didn't want people knowing. So I'm gonna do about just over half an ounce of perno, okay, and then eventually, after painstakingly finding it, he got the recipe, and this is what we're doing. We're now going to do one bar spoon of grenadine, and then we're going to do something called Don's Mix, and Don's Mix is basically grapefruit juice and cinnamon syrup, and we're just going to add a quarter ounce of that, okay. Of course, don't forget, one dash of Angostura bitters. And then you go and put that in the blender with some ice. Just fill that cup up, okay? All right, put that in there. And one last thing, I've almost forgot, you need three quarters of lime. All right, so, oh, there we go. You can get this recipe online. We'll have it on our webpage, we'll have it on our YouTube channel, TikTok, you name it, we'll have it there for you. All right, put it in there, okay. Put the blender on. Now, as you can imagine, you could do this up to about here and do four or five of this drink, but please remember, Don the Beach Coma only allowed two per customer, because, dude, it's four ounces of alcohol, all right? Okay, so switch it on. Wait a little while. There you go. And then oh, unhook. Boom. And then with this drink, as I said before, go all out on the garnish. Don't f hold back. As I said, if you can put a kitchen sink in it, f go for it. So, a spit straw. Woo Get yourself some nice mint. All right, there we go. Get yourself a, I've got a wonderful little stirrer here, which I got from the Shameful Tiki Room. It's a good friend of mine's bar. All right, put that in there. And then, you know what, let's add a uh, dehydrated lime wheel. All right, and then, you know what, let's add a pineapple leaf as well. Yeah, let's go crazy. Then, you know what? Got a nice big spike here. You'll find this all on my Pinterest site, by the way. Please look it up if you stop stealing my stuff. You'll find it on there. All right. Okay, put it in there. Oh. Go a little crazy. There we go. And then, what I like to call powdered cocaine, otherwise known as icing sugar. 
a little bit over the top like that. And there you go. A zombie. What a drink. <laughs> yeah. Mm. 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 Off and get home safe. Thank you.